Camila Bell and David LaFontaine star in 10 Truths About Love that's now streaming on Tubi. Perfect for the Valentine's Day weekend holiday. Thank you so much both for joining me today. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Nice red on theme for Valentine's Day. I know. Day. I, am re- I am ready for the holiday weekend. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the character of Karina and a little bit about the story. I play Karina, like you said, and she's a relationship romance columnist and thinks that she's the expert in all things love and everyone looks to her for the expert advice and uh, little does she know that she actually knows nothing (laughs) and finds that out when her long-term boyfriend breaks up with her and her world comes crashing down and she has to learn the hard way uh, through David's character Liam that life can't really be planned. And Liam does not make it easy for you. Uh, David, let's talk a little bit about about playing him and a little bit about, you know, what it takes to be that character of someone coming into a brand new workplace, trying to prove themselves, but also trying to fit in (laughs) and some of the challenges that sometimes come with that. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it was a fun character to play. It's always fun to play the extreme opposite of somebody else because you get to, you know, uh, experience all these great moments. But um, yeah, he's a he's a guy who's kind of moved back home and and, and feels feels very uncertain about the direction of his life. Um, he feels like he's failed as a novelist, and um, that maybe he's kind of just getting ready to settle. So in turn, as he's kind of you know giving up on a portion of what he thought his life was going to be, he realizes it could be a lot more uh, if he just uh, pays attention to what's in front of him and actually plans a little bit more. <laughs> so they uh, you know they cross paths in that way for sure. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, relationship advice. I mean, not just around the Valentine's Day holiday, but I mean, throughout the year and throughout time, we've had, you know, columns like Dear Abby, we've had Love Line on the radio. Now people do Instagram live videos as far as giving relationship advice. There's magazine, you know, obviously magazine and newspaper, you know, columns. Has there ever been a point where you've gotten sucked into either, you know, reading the, the newspapers or watch something on television or as far as like relationship advice? Luckily, I haven't. I, I've always been the sage old lady with my <laughs> group of friends, and I'm the one they've always turned to. I don't know why. Uh, I think I've always been very kind of level-headed, and I can kind of talk them off the bridge sometimes, and I've always been that venting person. So I've, I've always been that uh, that kind of human for my friends so it's always been the opposite really so luckily I haven't gotten sucked into it <laughs> what, what about for you David uh absolutely <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm learning all my relationship advice through podcasts now it's actually a great way to kind of um uh pick pick up information and listen to different people talk about the psychology of it and uh you know I'm uh, kind of digging deeper into how relationships work as opposed to just how you get in them and and make them successful so the podcast I feel like is maybe a great way to go because it's a new way and there's so many people opening up their their feelings in a way that they never have you know before because oftentimes we would see things like 10 rules to follow do you know he's you know into you you know astrology signs you know there were so many things that people followed these these rigid guides by where it's like well, you know, I'm an Aries and you're a Libra, so this can't work out, or you're you're this side, so it has not to work out. Let's not even let's not even talk. It's not, <laughs> it's not even. Work. <laughs> <laughs> it's written to the stars. Are there any headlines that you know that you might scroll past? You know, whether you're on, on social media or, or on the web, that just might like get your attention of like, well, let me read this. I don't know if I'm necessarily into it, but I'm curious to see what they say. I always inc- with astrology things. I'm probably the that's what I'll read is the astrology things. I won't not meet so obviously that's extreme, but I I do find that to be interesting sometimes. So maybe astrology things in in that realm. I I would skim through just out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> what about for you, David? <laughs> oh man, I'm a total sucker for um, any clickbait of anything that has it. I end up, I can go down um, holes for hours just looking at these things. So I'm, I'm, I'm an easy target for any one of those articles. Oh, exactly. I mean, sometimes there's, you know, there's, you know, 10 truths about love and then you see something that's 11. You're like, what's that extra one that I'm missing? I want to go ahead and read what, you know, what is that extra one right there? <laughs> what's number 11? <laughs> what's number yeah. 11? Uh, David, let's go back to you <laughs> one more time. Let's talk a little bit, you know, a lot of times the, um, the columns are geared towards, you know, women or women, you know, women centered, but, you know, a guy gets involved that they want more male readership, you know, let's talk a little bit about guys getting involved as far as, you know, either writing and asking their questions or guys being able to open up their feelings um, 
to do so and go ahead and reading that advice and maybe taking some, whether it's on a podcast or, you know, through something they read or, or see. Yeah, I think it's it's hugely beneficial, actually. I think we've kind of geared all of this love stuff towards um, women for so many years, but um, just in, you know, um, taking in some of these podcasts and, and stuff um, and looking into it a little bit deeper, there's a lot of great information out there uh, for men uh, that can be extremely helpful in a relationship and, and to understand, you know, it's, there's this traditional idea we might have of, of what it is to be in a relationship, but a, a lot of that is just not true. So um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's very beneficial for, for the, the sides to get evened out and not to be targeted so one way. Oh, exactly. And I think now that everyone's kind of put their guards down over the past two years, you know, living at home and reflecting on their lives, it's, it, this is, it's a great time for, for guys to kind of reflect on themselves and not be who they were, you know, pre-2020. That's a whole other conversation. Uh, final thing I want to ask. <laughs> that's another rabbit hole. <laughs> that's, 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 that's another rabbit hole. Uh, final thing I want to go ahead and ask both of you. Uh, you both work in the same office. Obviously, offices look a lot different now, and people are either rooting for, you know, the the person who's already there and sometimes they're rooting for the new person and sometimes, you know, sparks fly or, you know, people are at odds. Uh, tell us a little bit about that dynamic. In the film, at least, is she, her, my character's boy, ex then becomes ex-boyfriend. They don't work together, but then David's character, Liam, comes into the office and he's the new guy and sparks do not fly. It's very much, there's some sort of animosity and she doesn't want him there. She doesn't want him imposing on what her expertise are and what her column is so uh, that becomes a really fun dynamic to play with and then of course they start warming up to each other and realizing the values they each have so I think it's that's really I think that's a very natural progression of kind of not wanting someone to impose on what you think is your territory but then respecting the other person's talent and, and what they bring to the table. I see that look in your eye David what do you have to say about that? Oh, I just was, I was just thinking to myself that every, every time you work on a film or a television series, it is like everybody's first day at an office. And it's such a bizarre, crazy structure that, you know, everybody's trying to find their place and fit in. And some people know each other over here. And so it, it's, it's tricky. I, I, I mean, char uh, Liam's character goes in being the only new person, which I think is tricky in, in anything, but it just made me laugh to think about how you show up to work on a movie like this and it's everybody's first day all the time, you know, and it's uh, you're reestablishing all these, these relationships and stuff. Thank you both so much for your time today. 10 truths about love now streaming on Tubi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.